why are you really chasing them? And why are they really running from you? Welcome back. I'm Brienne, Twin Flames Universe Ascension Coach. And today I want to get clear on why we do experience this runner chaser dynamic. So if you are a chaser and you caught this video and you're now watching it, you're enraptured in everything that it is that I'm going to say, I want you to take a second and really like ask yourself, you can pause the video too, if you need to take a a moment to sit with yourself here, but what are you really chasing? Like when you, when you really like sit and you think about it logically, apply logic. Logic is a beautiful thing, right? This journey is of the heart. Your union is within you and it manifests into your external reality. But I want you to take a second to see like, what is it about your twin flame that you're chasing? And I also want you to fill into what do you feel that they're running from? And so I can share in my experience, the reason that I was chasing my twin flame is I didn't understand it at the time. And I didn't really know, honestly, that that's what was happening. I just knew that I experienced this intense connection with this person. And I wanted to do everything that I could to get close to them. And I didn't really know that that was called the runner chaser dynamic until I started Googling you know, what it was that I was even experiencing. And then Twin Flames popped up. And when Twin Flames popped up, I further investigated and they said, oh, you know, there's this runner chaser dynamic. And I was like, holy crap, that's what's happening here. And I was, I felt like I was the chaser. Whereas my Twin Flame, false Twin Flame, uh, was running from me. So the reason I was chasing, now looking back, is because I was wanting to be loved. I was desperately seeking love and desperately seeking that romance that I had always desired to have since I was a little girl. And I felt like I had finally found it. And so once I finally found it, I was like, oh no, this isn't getting away. You know, I spent 30 something years of my life. We're not going to just let it get away that easily. And so I was looking for reciprocal love. I was looking for someone to, you know, want to love me back in the way that I loved them. And I wanted to feel deserving of that love. I wanted to be validated about how I felt. I wanted to receive that attention. You know, I wanted to give attention and I wanted to receive that attention in return. And all in all, I just really wanted to feel loved by whom I perceived to be my person. And if I take it a, take it a bit deeper, I really just wanted to feel good. That's really what the core of it was, is like, being with this person, I felt really good. I felt very alive. It's a really a feeling that you can't even describe, but I know that you have felt it too, especially if you're watching this video. Being with your twin flame is really just a feeling you can't describe. It's just a very beautiful and magical experience. And I wanted to be in that state all of the time. And so I believed that in being, I needed to be with them all of the time in order to experience those beautiful feelings. But something that they don't always tell you about this is that actually when you're chasing your twin flame, you're actually chasing, you're chasing what's within you, but you're thinking that it's only in them. Yeah, take a second because that can sound very confusing. I understand completely. The love that we seek within our twin flame is actually within us. That really feel good feeling, that beauty, that romance, that magic that you're experiencing with them, that's actually not coming from them. It's coming from within you. Because in truth, no one can make us feel a certain way. Only we have power over what it is that we think and feel. And you may ask yourself, okay, well, I don't feel that feeling. I only feel it when I'm around my twin flame. So that doesn't even that doesn't even seem to make sense or resonate or I don't know that I believe that. But you got to know that your twin flame is your divine mirror. They are essentially you in another body. And in that divine mirror, in that reflection that they are to you, they're reflecting back to you what is inside of you. And you are reflecting back to them what is inside of them. And that reflection, that mirror dynamic, it's not just gonna show the beauty and, and the, the good feelings, it's also gonna show you what doesn't feel good within yourself. And that's why sometimes too, twin flames will experience that push and pull dynamic where sometimes you'll come together and then you'll repel one another. You'll come together and you'll repel one another. That's because you have, you know, there's that deep love and connection that you share, but then there's also 
all of the healing and the crap that needs to be moved through in order to really ground your union in, in a sustainable way. And then this is oftentimes why you, you know, most of us experience the, the runner blocking the chaser on social media and things like that. And that blocking happens as a result of them putting up a boundary because what they're energetically communicating is that you can't get what it is that you're seeking from me. You have to identify that within yourself. Like now that I've showed you what you actually have within you, that beauty, that magic, that divinity, now you've got to go on kind of like a treasure hunt. And that's essentially what happened to me is I had to, you know, it was my false twin flame at the time it was that was my experience. Not everyone will experience that, but I had to, you know, I was shown um, mirrored and, and keep in mind too, like everyone is your mirror because you might say, well, if that was a false twin flame, how do they mirror to you? Well, everyone can mirror something to you, right? Like your whole reality is a reflection of what is inside, but your twin flame is your perfect mirror. And so this person, they were, you know, at the time revealing themselves to be my true twin flame. And so that's the experience I was having. And they were showing me what was within myself so that I could heal it. And so when you relax and you, okay, so they're showing me that I have these beautiful feelings inside and I can go within and, and be with myself and love myself. Once you do that and you fully relax into yourself and you start to feel good within yourself, that runner will stop in their tracks. They will feel that energetically. It doesn't even have to be something that physically occurs, right? But they will stop in their tracks and they will turn and they will face you again and they will start coming back in your direction you will magnetize you will attract them back to you because you're no longer seeking those things from them that they can't give you that's not for them to give they were simply reflecting back to you what's inside of you but you had to be you had to be woke up to that you had to awaken i don't think awoke is a word but maybe we'll use awaken you had to awaken to the truth of what is inside of you and they did that for you. They they showed you that and, and you showed that to them too. So if you're experiencing the runner chaser dynamic and your twin flame has blocked you or they've not blocked you, this is probably why is because they're showing you that what it is that you're seeking isn't going to come from them. They're showing you that it's within you, but you had to have that experience with them so that you would know that there's something deeper there, that you are a beautiful divine being, you needed to awake to your own divinity, because that's the, um, the truth of twin flames is they are divine counterparts. And the way that you manifest your harmonious union is you come to know and recognize yourself as a divine being. And then you then see your twin flame as a divine being too. You don't see them just as some random person that you fell in love with. You come to know them as a divine person, as you come to know yourself as a divine person. And so what they're really communicating when they're running and when they're blocking is, hey, I love you and I want to be with you too, but we've got to get this worked out. You've got to discover the truth of who you are because you're not seeing yourself clearly. And because you're not seeing yourself clearly, you're thinking that I can be your source, but I cannot be that for you. You are that for you. The divine is that for you love is your source and that love dwells within you. So I feel like we took a massive healing journey from the very beginning of this video all the way to the end. And so now you know that you are a divine being and that divinity that you experience, that magic, that romance, that love that you experience when you're with your twin flame, that's actually all within you. And as you identify that, you go on that treasure hunt you go on that internal adventure and you identify who you really are as a loving being. Your twin flame naturally meets you there and all of that romance and bliss and magic that you've already experienced with them, that comes back tenfold in your reality because they're the reflection of you. So you have even more romance and passion and all of your desires being met. All right, so thank you for watching. And I will see you in the next video.